My friend, when I heard I was talking to you today, I was, I'm so excited to see you. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, this is great. Of course, you know, last time we go from Star Wars, we go to Raya. And I'm going to open with the very first question that I asked you when we met years ago. Your reaction when you were cast in Star Wars, I'm going to ask you this. When you found out you would be voicing Raya, tell me what your reaction was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> similar to be honest like there's this sort of um immediate feeling when you, you want something so badly and, and you know you're auditioning for things and you, you don't really know what's going to work out and what's not and then when you get to that moment where someone offers it to you it's almost this feeling of like oh i, I i've been just like treading water this whole tr time trying to get to this point I, I i don't even actually i don't know if i thought about how how i would do this or, or what i would do once i got there so there's sort of that initial shock and um, disbelief that comes with it. And then also this overwhelming just joy and, and, and knowing how much legacy uh, these movies have. And um, yeah, it's uh, definitely an emotional, an emotional response. <laughs> I'm always fascinated the, how long it takes. You know, obviously we knew the D23 announced 2019. We're just talking about the movie right now, but how long it really takes from the very beginning of this process to release I always, that's always the first question I ask on a Disney animation. How long has it been? It's been six years. Wow. Six years. And um, that's yeah, relatively typical. I mean, some like some are a little faster, like Big Hero 6, it was three and a half, but, um, and some like Tangled, it was almost like 10. So um, like, yeah, around five or six years, that's about the normal sort of gestation period for one of these animated films. Tell me about the magic of this story and what it means to you. Oh man, uh, I love this story. I loved it when we were first invited to join the, the Raya team, but I love it even more now just because I feel like it's, it's uh, through the last year and a half that we've been involved, it's gained so much more um, uh, timeliness and it feels like it's a part of a conversation that is very necessary. It, it, it essentially, it, it chronicles a world that is divided, that is fractured, and representatives of each land coming together and having to learn how to put their difference aside, uh, even though they have opposing worldviews and, and very different ideologies, they have to coexist again and they have to learn to trust each other. Uh, and I just, I look around, I read the news and I, I couldn't imagine a, a more necessary message for today. I think that we're we're so proud to have worked on this movie and so happy that it comes out in only a few days. My favorite character, Raya, I know is the big star, but I will tell you that my favorite character is Tuk Tuk. <laughs> I love, and everybody laughs. I love Tuk Tuk. So Kui, I want to get your thoughts on Tuk Tuk. Uh, well, I mean, Tuk Tuk immediately, like when you, when, as soon as we were introduced, like, again, th these characters were being developed even before I came on or Don or Carlos came on. And so when we immediately saw Tuk Tuk, we knew that it was going to be a character that was going to just, you know, ignite the imagination of so many kids to, to be able to like, just, you know, it, it just, it's an iconic character right away. Uh, I think the one contribution that Don Carlos and I made was we, we introduced the baby version of Tuk Tuk at the very top of the film that wasn't in the script previously. Uh, and so to be able to see this little guy grow into the big guy was just a, a little bit of Disney magic that I, 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 I love that we were able to contribute to. I'm just so happy for you. I mean, you're a Disney princess now. These movies last forever. And I just yeah. love the story. So what makes this role, you know, special to you personally? So many things. What it means to you in sisterhood of being a Disney princess, that is a huge thing. And the second thing is recognizing that we are, with this movie, uh, honoring a part of the world that doesn't get to be honored that often. Um, and by doing that, hopefully broadening the idea of what people think when they hear the word princess or when, when they hear the her word hero, like knowing that anyone, no matter where you're from or what you look like, you can be these things. Um, and the last thing for me is just Raya as a, as a complicated, flawed character who is sarcastic and funny and smart and also vulnerable and, and sad sometimes, and, and also viscerally angry sometimes. Someone who gets to experience the entire wealth of, of human emotion. Um, she is such a, a cool, brave, uh, incredible character, and I'm honored to have uh, yeah, been able to be a part of creating her. 
tell me where this uh, Raya journey began for you. Um, I had just finished uh, working on Moana and uh, there was some some early notions, ideas for Raya that were that were kicking around the studio and and um, we had we had the strong uh, warrior princess, this the strong female protagonist, and we had the five lands that were divided around along the, uh, the the dragon river and the dragon was the Asian dragon, which is the dragon of harmony of of water of life, and we knew she, we wanted her to be a, a female as well. And um, we knew that we wanted to tell a story about, about the, our differences and rather than choosing to be enemies because we're different, choosing to bring us all together. But that's, it's easier said than done. What does that mean? And then we went deeper and deeper and what that takes for us. So um, it's been an incredible journey and I cannot wait to share this movie with the world. It's really good. Adele, how does this story inspire you? Oh my goodness. Um, you know, I think, first of all, um, growing up in Southeast Asia, you know, and loving Disney animated movies as much as I have, um, it is tremendous to have uh, a, a Disney heroine princess warrior who looks like the people I grew up with, whose culture is from the people I grew up with. And so what, uh, you know, what I've learned from this is, you know, that power when the images just first started coming out, as you said, even in D23, I have friends, you know, I grew up with who were like texting me, messaging me like, Raya looks like me. And, you know, you, you can intellectually think that, but when you see it affect the real lives of people, that's when you know you're onto something, you know, special and transformative. And I have a daughter, uh, she was nine when it started, she's 11 now, but when she looks at Raya, that she has a Disney princess who she can see her own face reflected in, it's, you know, it's beyond words. How many changes do you guys go through to get it just right? Huh. It, it, it's a tough one to to answer um, with a specific because it's sort of um, it, it's change is just ever present, you know, in the process. And animation is uh, such a fluid medium that we are we have the ability as directors and storytellers to change the movie constantly, you know, up until the very, very end um, and probably, you know, much more, much more robust than let's say live action or something like that. So um, we are constantly, constantly tweaking. And, and we've always said, you know, our movies are never finished. They're just released. And that's kind of how we, how we feel about it. Um, obviously you reach a, a story point where it's like, you know, it, it, it is essentially locked. Like, I guess, you know, the moment where the changes stop, the, the big, the big changes stop would be when you wrap animation. Once animation's wrapped, it's like, okay, I think I think we're pretty much done. And then we've got effects and lighting and all that kind of stuff to do, but you're still tweaking. But yeah, it, it change is part of our process and always will be. Uh, Raya, I love Raya, the character. I, I, I love you, but also my favorite is Tuck Tuck. And <laughs> I just, I almost renamed my dog Tuck Tuck. Of course he didn't take that very well. Uh, when we had the conversation, but I just, you know, let's talk about that character, Tuck Tuck, and the bond that is between these two characters. Yeah, I mean, the most adorable character I think I've seen in a really long time, and I think Alan Tudyk is just such a genius at being able to create all of the sounds that, that, he, that he made to make this character extra lovable um and their relationship is so special because they grew up together you know you see tuk tuk as this tiny little little creature and then he becomes the hugest <laughs> um and is really part of the adventure in a really integral way and i think that raya and tuk tuk have a really special friendship i you know a lot of times uh, people talk about this all the time but having a pet is really like having a good friend and i, I think that that applies to their relationship as well I love that answer. Why is this the perfect movie for the entire family? It is the perfect movie for the entire family because it's full of, first of all, it's this epic journey. We've all been dying to travel and, and go. And cause so you want to come and, and get immersed in this incredible fantasy world. It's full of jokes. It's full of humor. It's full of heart. You'll be crying. You'll be laughing. And just as importantly, I think when the movie ends, there'll be a great conversation to be had together as a family about what, what is difference? What does it mean to trust? What does it mean to come together for the greater good? So it has all of that and some pretty cute sidekicks. Give me your thoughts on Tuck Tuck Adele. 
Oh my gosh. So Tuck Tuck, when I showed up, like Tuck Tuck already existed, but that's a great example of how like the story artists really influenced the, um, you know, the script and the story moving forward. Um, they had the idea that, you know, Raya was almost like this like lone warrior and she needed a steed. So with this idea of like this pangolin, pug, pill bug character that she could ride on. And in the beginning, Tuck Tuck was there for, you know, maybe like a few minutes and he disappeared. And all of us were like, where Tuck Tuck go? We want more of Tuck Tuck. And so then we started writing him into the rest of the movie. And then, you know, we even saw little Tuck Tuck with little Raya. And he had even, a, you know, a beyond being beyond adorable, cute, and some and a buddy you can ride, um, that he also was a companion for Raya in this broken world where otherwise you'd feel so sorry for her for being all alone. Every, every kid needs a Tuck Tuck. What makes this a perfect movie for the entire family? Uh, there's action, there's heart, there's humor. There's a plethora of incredible characters and there's a lot of really good food depicted in the movie that uh, hopefully people will be able to uh, be uh, curious about this food together and, and hopefully maybe order out some of those foods and share them together. So I think it's definitely a really fun family experience. My name is Raya. Raya.